right, looking at problems 6, 7, and 8. Uh, let's take a look at number 6. We're supposed to find the areas of these uh, different shapes. So we've got a large triangle here. And hopefully what we notice is that if we were to um, turn this triangle around, we could look at this length right here as our base. So we're going to consider this our base. And then we're going to look at this right here, this length right here, as our height. All right. So remember, an area of a triangle is equal to one half times the base times the height. So that's what we're trying to find is that base and that height. All right. To recognize, first of all, that we have here a 30 degrees in this portion of the triangle. If I look at the smaller triangle right here, there's a 90. So that means this has to be 60 right here. So if I look at this portion of the triangle right here, oh, can't color that with beans. If I look at this portion of the triangle right here, that's a 60 degree angle right there. So we have a 30, 60, 90. So if this is my hypotenuse right here of 10, that means my short side, which is this side right here, is going to be 5. So we found our height of the triangle. Now we still need to find the base. Now if I break this base up into two parts, right? so if I look at this, if I look at my base here, so this portion of the base right here now, we're going to say, well, this is, this is 5 squared to 3. Looking at my 30, 60, 90, 5 squared to 3. All right, so that takes care of part of our base. We still need to find this length. Well, let's see. If I take 105 degrees and subtract 60 from it, I go 105 minus 60. 10 minus 6 is 4. And I see then that this portion, I'm going to color this dark blue, this portion of that 105 degrees is 45. Well, if that's 45 and this is 90, that means this is 45. So I have a 45, 45 degree angle. So if this length is 5, that means this length is 5. And this is 5 square root of 2. I don't need to know that. This is what I need to know. So we know that my base then, so we know that the base is equal to 5 plus 5 square root of 3. So if I, now this is when you go to your approximation. So if I go 5 times the square root of 3, I get 8.66. So B is approximately equal to 5.8.66. So if I add those two together, I get 13.66. All right, so that's my base. My height is 5. So I'm now looking at the area of my triangle. Let's do this. We're going to move this out of the way here. That's a little sub work. So we now know that the area is equal to 1 half. The base is 13.66. My height is 5. So if I multiply those three things together, so I go, let's see, plus 5, so 13.66 times 5 times a half, I get 34.15. So the area of that triangle is approximately 34.15, 34.15 square units. Okay, so that's the answer for number six. Number seven, here I've got a 60, 60 degree angle right here. That means this is 30. That's 30 degrees, 30, 60, 90. If this is my short side, that means my long side, which happens to be the height here, is going to be 15 square root of 3. Now, the area for a parallelogram, which is what this is, is simply this. Area equals base times height. 
So this area then is simply 15 times 15 times the square root of 3. 15 times 15 is 225. And if I multiply 225 times the square root of 3, I get 389.71. So my area here is approximately 389, 389.71 square units. Okay, so that's for number seven. And then I have number eight. Well, if I were to take a line and bisect 120, okay, um, that turns this, if I bisected this in two equal parts, that means that this angle is 60. Okay, if that's 60, gee, that's 90, that means this has to be 30. Well, let's see, if the hypotenuse, if the hypotenuse, now this does not look exact. Okay, if the hypotenuse is 24, my short side is going to be half that, so that's going to be 12. And this is going to be 12 square root of 3. Well, it just so happens if that breaks that into two equal parts, that means this is 60. So that means this is 30. That means this is 24. This is 12. So again, looking at my area, my area is equal to 1 half times the base of the triangle times its height. Well, the base in this case is 24. These two added together give me 24. And my height is going to be 12 times the square root of 3. Well, if I multiply 1 half times 24, I get 12. And if I multiply 12 times 12, I get 144. So that's 144 square root of 3. So the area is approximately going to be 144 times the square root of 3 which gives me 249.42 249.42 square units and that's our answer for number 8